So just let me do another problem with the same respective simple position. I just I read the problem, just try to understand what has been given here. A pentagonal prism of base side 40 mm and axis 70 mm has one of its bases in the vertical. Draw the projections when a rectangular face is parallel to and 20 mm above the HP. A face is perpendicular to the HP. Again here the two condition has been given for the same problem. Clear? The try to understand what has been given. In the previous we discussed the pyramid. Pyramid mean base is any polygon on the top we are having the only single point that is an apex. Please don't confuse in the prism and pyramid. If you are clearly get the idea of the prism what it is and pyramid what it is then only you can perform the solution correctly. But because we need the solution sequence is same in either the case but initially your assumption was wrong systematically you will reach the wrong solution with lot of your effort. So the same prism mean how to keep in mind. So in the prism and the spell we are getting P R I S M. So where you are getting the S, S mean we can just fix logically like a same. So then you won't confuse. Same mean base as well as the face both will be same. That is the same point again. A pentagonal prism of base side 40 mm. So that means base is a pentagon and the top face part also pentagon. So now I will just take the details of the term. It is a 40 mm side of the pentagon and height of the solid is 70 mm. Axis is nothing but height. In some problems it may be mentioned with respect to y or sometimes it may be axis length. Both will be same. So height of the solid is 70 mm. Has one of its bases, base mean bottom part in the vertical plane. Draw the projections when. Okay, up to this one condition. As for the condition, a rectangular face is parallel to and 20 mm above the HP. Okay, let me start the first condition. So in this one, you have to initiate which view to be drawn first. So for that one, I have told in, telling every time that you have to observe the resting condition. So what is the resting condition here? In VP. In VP mean VP projection to be initiated first. VP projection mean front view to be drawn. Front view is the details of horizontal plane. Just to move your solution, identify what the HP details has been. What the details have given? 20 mm above HP. So you have to consider. So then I can just start the solution. Same normal user practice. Bring your mini doctor the way the area I want to draw. So first standard axis line that is XY reference line to be drawn. So the same thing draw the XY reference line. So now I do area to be fixed. Where I have to draw here. If the top you want to draw here. Otherwise you want to draw the front view. I have to move the upside. So when I am coming to here. The, why because the base on the front view on top view resting condition I observed. The resting condition since it is vertical plane. I have to insert the vertical plane. So whenever the base resting, the base is the shape of the pentagon. I have to initiate the pentagon shape. Whenever initiating the pentagon shape, you have to draw the primary side parallel. Why? Because the one of the rectangular side is parallel and 20 mm above of it. So measure the 20 mm here and just initiate our required constraint. Measure 20 mm. At the 20 mm, I have to draw the primary side. So what the side length has been given here? 40 mm. So I am drawing the 40 mm as a primary sign. After that, so whenever the pentagon, the base is a pentagon. The bases are besides the shape. In the previous case, I drawn the square. The since the base is the square, here since it is a pentagon, I have to draw the pentagon. How we construct the pentagon? So that's why in the beginning of the unit one we discussed polygon construction. So those polygons, so directly you have to use here almost everywhere as per the required condition. So pentagon just get correct back all the information to connect construct a pentagon. Internal angle between so one side to the other side is a 180 degrees. So for that one take the protractor at the end where I need to measure the angle. Just I am drawing here placing the protractor and measuring the angle here 108. So this is the angular direction. At the same time try to complete on other side also. So other side also you have to construct pentagon by considering the 108. Okay. So that is the angular direction of 180 degrees. But we know that in a pentagon we are considering the regular shape. So whenever the regular shape, 
so all the sides must be equal so along the direction of angle i have to draw the primary side length what has been given for the so that is the direction along here angular direction of 180 i need since the length is 40 mm and to draw the 40 same other side also along the direction of angular measurement of 180 degrees i need 40 mm length so i am drawing here 40 mm length so thereafter to get the other sides okay thereafter we have to get the other side it ensure that every side must be equal in length that is the condition of length equality I can place the protractor and I can measure the 180 degrees but measuring with the protractor angular measurement to be made after that again you have to measure with the scale for the particular length in the direction so which takes the time consumption instead of that when we are having the only the common point to fix I can just rely on the compass and take the side length I know the condition sides must be same so I am measuring the side length this end point at the center I am drawing the arc here again other end point at the center I am intersecting the previous one. Okay? So once I am getting the common point, I can just simply connect the point with the respective sides. So now close the side. I can just able to construct the regular pentagon with required. Next, you have to identify the label in the corners. How many corners I will get? The base is the five, five points that is with respect to each corner of the pentagon. And the face part also we are having the five parts. So total how many parts I can the five corners plus five corners total ten corners I have to identify. So please here I am just keeping as a logical sequence which you are visualized that is the topmost points name them as the alphabets and the bottom to make the differentiate so which is the base and which is the face so for that one number them in the numericals so that you can easily identification. There is no strictly condition to follow like that one, but the logically we have to make ourselves a little convenient. So that's why let I am labeling all this as with the respective visible points as the alphabets. So that means A mean A dash, B dash, this is the C dash, it is the D dash, and it is the E dash. If we are identifying all these the five points, we cannot clarifyly communicate it whether it is a plane or solid. How can I understand? All the remaining five parts are there, but those are not visible. So those names can be given in the brackets. The since those are the hidden behind. So respective one dash in bracket, two dash, three dash, four dash, and five dash. Clear? So after that, respective friend be completed, and to go for the other side that is the top. How the top view do we get run? The same fundamental concept, front view, top view, always in a same line. So based on that concept, take the mini drafter and I can just draw the projector lines to other side. So how to be other side? From every point of reference, I have to draw the projector lines. So for that, please use a pencil to H. Okay, now I draw projectors from. So now this one, the points are shows with respect to behind points. So what are the behind points we are given? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the behind points. So label them as the behind points with the same order. So what are you getting? So here is the one respective point. Here is the second point. Here is the third one. Here is the fourth one. And here is the I have identified the bottom, one of the edge points. The same similarly we are having the other end. So other end we are having with the height. But because in the prism we are having the base and the top bar are separated by a distance of height. So that height already given, so which is of 70 mm in length. So that means the since it is a prism, everywhere edges are directly vertical lines. In the case of the pyramid, all the lines are slant edges. In the case of the prism, at every corner, the other point will be exactly vertically above at a height given. So since height of the problem in this given is 70 mm, so I have to draw at every point the e equal to the 70 mm. Just I will finish first outer part, 
but because outer part is a clearly visible so that I am let I finish the outer edges but because in this you have to identify which is the invisible points also so for that one let I am identifying the outer edges how to identify the visible or invisible so for that you have to top your drawing mean have to view from this drawing if I view from this direction this edge, this edge, this edge is visible but whereas this edge, this edge is not visible whenever not visible those to be identified by the national lines wherever the hidden edges you have to identify those with the dashed line so since this one I can identify as a dashed line since this edge is not visible Clear? similarly this one visible this is nearer to her so visible mean straight edge again here invisible it should be dashed edges of that label them so point E here the since not visible I can mention in the bracket the D is visible point I can open it the B is not visible I can mention in bracket C is a visible point I can open the E is a visible point I can open it clear so this is the way of you are providing the solution clear so in this one the solution can be completed when you are finished dimension part also so what the dimension part has been given the side length and height of the object the same thing you can proceed with the help of the mini rafter so align where i want to show the dimension next just bring at the corner of the reference i'm drawing the primary edge of the extension line again there i'm drawing the other primary edge next i'm drawing the dimension arrow has to be drawn next side length has been given 40 40 next height also to be shown so for that one you have to draw the again extension line properly all the extension line dimension lines must be used please with the help of mini doctor only the scale may not use exactly perpendicular and parallel line so for that say compulsory here is a mini rock now the height has been given so what the height has been given right 70 clear so this is a problem given condition e that is the solution of similarly we are having the solution b also to be drawn so let me observe for the same problem second condition so what the second condition is given in this one the same pentagonal prism side of base and 70 mm so resting in vp only but here that there is a change in condition what the condition a face is perpendicular to the horizontal plane in the previous case since it is parallel and 20 mm above we taken one of the primary edge of the pentagon we drawn parallel to xy line and we taken 20 mm above distance also in the second condition of the problem the same solid but the resting condition is same in vp only but the position has been changed so what the position with the respect to b condition face is perpendicular to the hp please keep in mind whenever parallel mean you have to draw the line parallel whenever the perpendicular mean the primary reference must be drawn perpendicular only so let me check the second solution how to be drawn for the same solid of pentagonal prism of side 40 mm and height of 70 mm. so let me check the solution the since it is resting in vp i have to initiate for the vp again we have to condition one of the faces perpendicular I have to draw the primary side is perpendicular. So when you have decided to draw the perpendicular, the previous case parallel and above distance has been mentioned. So that's why a measured distance will be given. But whenever the distances are not given, we can just assume as our own choice. But you have to take care whenever drawing, it should not be comes and below the x y line. So in such a case, you can draw the primary side with the given information. So let I am taking at some interval and just I am drawing the primary side for the given length of 40 mm. Clear? So based on this one, I have to construct the remaining pentagon requirement. Same as the earlier practice, the since the angle between one side to the other side is the 180 degrees. So take the protractor and with the help of the protractor, first try to identify the angular directions. So just I am placing the protractor here. Whenever I place the protractor, opposite should be 0. 
So take care while you are reading the angular measurements. So if it starts from 0 here, again this is 1900, I need 108 degrees, so I am marking the 108 degrees point. Similarly, I have to show the other end also, same side of included 108 degrees. I place the protractor this end mean opposite uh, 0 here, I have to start in this direction. So this is a 1900 and 108 to be marked. Now along the direction of those, I have to draw now the primary side length, so which has a 40 mm. So now I am taking here and just I try to construct line in the angular direction of 180 degrees. Just align the end of the line with the angular direction, but side length must be of same length that is of 4 cm, 40 mm. Again other end also, align of the edge with the respective angular direction and measure the 40 mm and 40 mm length to be drawn here. So once you are drawing that one, the primarily only the one side is required that has to be located the same as the previous principle. That means since sides are equal, measure the distance with the compass of side length and one end as the center, draw the arc. Other end as the center, draw the arc to intersect here. So now I are able to get the common point. So that common point has to be connected with the scale length. Again there, that side also, I can close the end. So after please labeling, how many corners to be identified? 5 on the bottom, 5 on the top, total together you have to 10. So the 10 corners you can identify, the since is the front view, I have to label them as A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash, and it is an E dash. So behind hidden points are 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, and 5 dash. So once I am completing this one, I have to proceed for the other respective view. The same thing you have to draw the projector lines. So for drawing the projector lines, take the mini doctor and just take the 2H pencil and I have to refer every distance onto the other side. So both the points will be coincides. So now these are the bottom points. So bottom points are just being then were shown as a hidden. I can mention this as the 1 dash. That is the 1. Here also we are having the 5. So in this one 1 is hidden and 5 is the visible. Here the 4 and the respective other point 2 and here is the 3 points along. Next since height has been given 70 mm, height all are perpendicular at each edge. So I can directly draw the 70 mm length. 70 mm length and just try to fix the outer extremes. So then I can decide other things based on their visibility. I can just choose the line. But when you are viewing in this direction, this point, this point. So B automatically B2 edge is the invisible. But as compared to the D and B will be comes in the same line. The preceding dominated is a visible edge. So I can proceed directly visible edge itself. So now once you are getting the visible edges, I can identify when you are viewing here, E is the visible and respect to E is invisible. D is visible, respect to B is invisible. The C alone is the visible point. So once you are completing, just show the dimension so that I can complete the solution part. The solution will be completed by adding the dimensioning part. Please take care while taking the dimensioning, use many rock only so that you can get the perfect line alignment. With the scale, you cannot properly align those things. So draw the primary extension line of the length you want to design. The same length to be taken from other end also. If it is taken any length as 3 cm, from other side also it to be measured same. So just from the outer edge, take the 3 or 4 mm gap and draw the dimension line and it should be drawn with properly arrow heads and show the sign. Similarly, the height to be drawn here, yeah, the same thing I can take here, extension line and just I will show dimension line here. Arrow has to be systematically drawn and you can just mention the height.
So this is the solution for with the given condition B. As for the problem condition, a pentagonal prism which having the side of 40 mm resting with one of the base in vertical plane. So that's why it's not one of the vertical base in vertical plane such that one of the rectangular face is parallel and 20 mm above the HP. There is a condition A and the second condition its base edge is perpendicular to the HP. You have to just forget to mention the one more dimension. You have to show the all the dimension what has been given in the problem complexity. Now since it is given is 20 mm above added 20 mm. So with this one we can complete all the solution for the given problem. Condition A and condition B. Please you have to identify in this case here are must to identify visible lines wherever you are getting those must be identified by the drawing the dash line only. Whenever the visible line and invisible line just coincidentally comes the visible edges will be most priority. Invisible line must be dash line. Whenever both coincidence, the dominated line is the continuous line, so which depends on the visible line. Clear?